the French Canadian, the former UFC welterweight champion, who has a different look in his eyes here as he entered the octagon than he did prior to the Sarah fight. George Rushing for you. Mike, I was just about to talk about the look in his eyes. This is the look that we saw when he fought Frank Trigg. This is the look that we saw when he fought Sean Church. The determined, angry juggernaut George St. Pierre, the funky George St. Pierre. In his defense, going into that title defense against Matt Serra, he was having tremendous personal problems, family health issues, and you know what? Anything like that that can distract you in the middle of a, a, a huge event like defending the world championship and the ultimate fighting championship, I mean, that, that's a, it's a very difficult task. And it's a very difficult thing to sort out your emotions. Now that he's with Greg Jackson, he's training down there in New Mexico. He's got a completely different camp now. When he was up with Canada, he was basically training himself. He would go to separate boxing training. He would go to separate jiu-jitsu training. Now down at Jackson's camp in New Mexico, he's got one place where he trains with a bunch of very, very tough guys. And he's got all that coaching in one area. Before this fight, he's basically kind of self-coached. He basically brought himself to all these different er areas to train in different disciplines. He looks very focused and very eager to reclaim his spot at the top. His new manager, Sherry Spencer. Uh, the witch doctor, Steve Friend, says that he knows George Rush and Pierre very well, that his mental is back. Well, we'll soon find out because he is going to take on a man who is extremely mentally strong in Josh Koscheck. And the question will, will be answered, I think, tonight. Does he have the mental to return to the top? Did he simply just get caught by Matt Serra? RT. 